Welcome back to our series on economic and legal considerations for hemp, brought to you by Texas A&M AgriLife Extension and the Southern Extension Risk Management Education Center. Today we're going to do a brief overview of how to use our AgriLife hemp budgets using the hemp CBD large scale budget template. Uh, it's important to remember that these budgets are just an example. As of mid-January, the numbers that you use need to be updated based on current market information as these numbers will not be valid as we move further into the growing season. So first we want to look at, again, revenue. So first we see the price of CBD, again, is priced on a percentage of CBD as a component of total weight. Our estimate is about 6.5%. You can simply enter your estimate on your field right next to our estimate. The current price in mid-January is 55 cents uh, per percent of CBD per pound. Again, if the prices change, you have the ability to enter your price adjacent to our price. And finally, yields, which are going to vary widely depending on your location within the state, as well as the type of production that you choose to undertake, i.e. whether or not you plan on irrigating or trying to produce dry land. That's going to yield us our overall revenue, an estimate for which we currently have $4,468.75 per acre. Again, I want to stress that this estimate needs to be updated based on current market conditions as this is only an example. If we scroll down a little ways, we can see the variable cost section of the budget template. These include custom services like pre-plant plowing, planting with different kinds of sugar beet plates, fertilizer application fees, traditional cultivation, harvest costs and drying costs, as well as hauling. Again, you can enter the different variables or the different values for these variables based on your circumstances. For instance, if you're hauling to a place that's only 50 miles away, you would particularly want to change this 120 to 50. That's going to change your overall cost for hauling and decrease it. Or if you're further away, you would want to make sure you include that as it will increase your costs. We also have the cost of fertilizer testing and compliance, which is going to vary based on the number of lots and the overall number of acres that you produce. Herbicides and insecticides are not currently approved for use in hemp, although we have left them in in case some are approved. That way you can update this budget again, as it is only an example, and include the cost of that within your budget. Crop insurance, which is going to be available in select Texas counties. You can find those counties in another video in this series. Feminized seed, which again is a seed that is sorted based on getting the males out of the overall bin of seeds. Other costs like soil testing, and again removing males and weeding. Uh, and finally, we have irrigation. I want to stress on irrigation that you can convert this budget into a dryland budget simply by changing the application of water or energy cost for appl application of water to zero or leaving it at zero, but I stress that you need to change your yield based on your estimate of change based on the amount of water you're going to include in your overall production. You know, if your water use goes down, we would expect a lower yield. If you pump more water, we would expect a higher yield. So it's important that if you change any of these inputs, particularly water, you are going to expect a change in yield. And it's important to visit with your agronomist and make sure that you are tailoring those changes so that your budget remains accurate within reason. Finally, let's look at these fixed costs. Again, this is only an example, but the template that we have includes fixed costs for equipment investment, growing fees, which include licensing and permits, legal expenses and the rent or mortgage payment for your land. In our current example, we, we want to look at is the total specified cost for total costs and the total specified cost for variable costs combined together to amount to total specified costs, which are $5,747 against the revenue we discussed earlier of $4,468 an acre, which yields us a loss of approximately $1,278 an acre. Now why is this a loss? 
the current price, and if you visit our video on break-evens, you can see that uh, the price that we receive right now is below what this break-even calculation yields. So if we have a price for CBD at about 55 cents per percent of CBD, and the break-even price is 70 cents per percent of CBD, we are losing about 15 cents per, per percent. We are losing about 15 cents on each unit of production. You want to look at the break-even tables that are going to change based on the total yield. Once you've updated your budgets, we will see here the total yield possible at 100 percent and the, the prices you need to achieve to cover total variable costs and just to cover total costs in general. Those yields will vary based on percentages here in the left-hand column and will show you a variable cost necessary or a price necessary to achieve a break-even above variable cost or above total cost. That's a basic overview of our CBD large-scale hemp budget. We also have budget templates for a smaller scale production of CBD that includes transplanting rather than seeding, a hemp grain budget, and a hemp fiber budget. And we have details on those different components in other videos in this series. Thank you for watching. Please take our survey at the end of this video.